Tearing Walls Apart is a one-day student art festival that's going to celebrate the power of art to break down boundaries. And it's going to happen here at the former Mansion Inn. We're right across the street from the Governor's Mansion on September 23rd. We're inviting high school students from the entire greater Sacramento area to come and activate 46 hotel rooms with visual art and site-specific dance pieces, music, and theater. We'll also have a main stage out here in the parking lot uh, where we're gonna have large and exciting performances, uh, food trucks, and art activities for the public to enjoy. Hi, I'm Mackenzie Craw. I go to McClatchy High School. Hi, I'm Miriam Abeljude. I go to McClatchy High School. We met in our school's theater production class as like as technicians. Yeah. And from there we just decided that like like this is our group, these are the people we want to work with. And we all kind of had the same mindset of what we wanted to do. I like watercolors and I enjoy the free flow you get with that and the the boundaries, they're limitless with watercolors. You have so many styles and so I enjoy doing I guess spirals. What's really exciting about Sacramento right now is, is the attention and the energy in our arts and entertainment industry. Tearing Walls Apart is one of only many events that we've seen around the city in past years. This event is different in that we're actually focusing on high school students. So what those other events haven't done is give an opportunity for our youth to express themselves through art. When they were talking about like breaking down boundaries with issues at school, we decided to go with the issue of sexual harassment and assault and kind of base our artistic statement off of that. So we took that and made it into what we felt was appropriate. We kind of have to rely on each other a lot for support. Um, it's just something we all have to be together for. Especially with the Me Too movement, it also became like a topic that we talked about in school and we just feel like it's something that isn't addressed and it's something that does happen. So we want to make it an open conversation for those people. I'll be doing an art piece that represents kind of the troubles with dyslexia, trying to fit your left brain with your right brain, your creative side with the analytical side. And by doing this, I'll be using both my left hand and my right hand, although I myself am right-handed. I believe that when you use your left hand, art just comes out creating, well, it looks more beautiful, I believe. There's the opportunity for their art to be featured in the finished hotel. So this property is going to become an independent boutique art hotel. It'll open in a few years. And we'll be taking a lot of photography and videography of all of this art that's created. And the developers are committed to finding a place in the hotel to showcase that work. It's great because we already have a lot of great artists at McClatchy, but there's so many in Sacramento. I see so many murals in town. It's like. There's just a lot of people, it's great, that, yeah. and I want to meet them all. And we get to work with professional artists, which is yeah. even better because otherwise we don't have that kind of opportunity. So this is just yeah. really great. This is great for all student artists. Yeah. I think art opens us up to seeing what goes on in the artist's mind, what goes on in their heart. I think it allows you to see what their state of mind is when they make the art piece. If it's clean, you have an idea that they're well practiced in that art, that they know what they're doing, they've been well trained. If it's a bit messy, you have an idea that they could be experimenting, that they don't know what's going on, that it all is a great example of the person who does it. And I feel like that's kind of what this whole project is. It's about tearing apart the walls that divide us, and art does that. <laughs>